Hello, today we're going to be talking about the masking collage assignment in Photoshop. Now what we're going to do is you get your instructions from eLearn under Photoshop Photo Collage. You're going to basically uh, come up with a theme of something you like, something you enjoy. It could be about your vacation, your favorite soccer team, all about your friends, or all about you. Um, the main point of the assignment is to use Photoshop masking to uh, create this montage of photos. You're going to follow, set the page up following the directions. The first thing you need to be sure to uh, look at is it needs to be set up at 11, 11 by 8.5 inches. You must have a creative background. must use a masking effect on all or most of the images. Four or more images, good quality, not pixelated must include a t text title with the Photoshop effect and it must have a theme and then be sure you save it correctly after that alright let's get started I've already gone through and I've decided I'm going to do my collage over Predator you, you may not be familiar with the Predator movies but uh, I got a few images that I plan on using for this uh, exercise I'm going to open up Photoshop. I'm going to go File, New, go to the Presets, US Paper. I need to switch it around for the width to be 11 and the height 8.5. Resolution doesn't have to be that high. I'm going to just keep it at 72. Background white. I'm going to call this Predator and click OK. Now you can set, set up your background to whatever color you think you might want to start with. I'm going to use a gradient, shiny spear, something like that might be fine. It may, even, may not even use the background. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up all my images in Photoshop and here they are now let's see one I want to start I like this one a lot so I want to start off with this one I'm going to go to predator let me get all these dragged down Here it is. Now I need to drag that layer and see how it highlights. There you go. Now the image is bigger than the size. So I want to go Command T. That's the free transform tool. You can also go Edit, Free Transform. But I'm going to shrink that down move that this way and fit it to the size I need I like I like over there in the corner so I'm going to stretch that out and then my next image after I get that one I'm going to close that get this one drag him here close it get this one drag it in there close that gotta have a predator face so I'm gonna drag that there close that and this one close that I think I'll leave this one out alright so I got all these layers in here now let me get them situated I'm gonna hide that one hide that one and hide that one so I got this one I'm going to command T and I'm gonna put him over in the corner like that and then I got 
And then I'm going to hit return to deselect it. And I got this face. I'm going to put him right here. And then this fella, I'm going to shrink him up. Command T. Put him right in the corner. Hit return. And I got this one. I'm going to drag him where he's above that. Alright, now here's the trick. The main point of this assignment is I'm going to create layer mask and blend them in. So I'm going to go down. I got this layer. I'm going to click on mask. Go here. Click on mask. Mask. Mask mask. Go ahead and just add a mask to all of them. I may not need it for the bottom one. Um, then I'm going to get the brush. Press D for my default colors, black and white. Get me a nice brush here. Now press X. Get Black is my foreground color. And I gotta select this one the top layer so I'm, I'm taking away from this one so here he is I'm going to increase the brush size I'm even gonna I can add more back later I just don't want to miss out on some stuff here alright so I got that one now the next one I'm going to get out of the way is this one so see I got that one I'm going to go in the mask I'm going to erase away There he is. Now I noticed I missed some stuff over here on the this one, so I'm going to go back up here. And then I'm going to go to this corner one. Kind of blend him in. Try to get rid of the corners. Now this one I need to go back, see some of the white from that, get rid of that. And now let's go to this one. Make sure you don't click on the image but the mask. Get rid of some of the predators. I uh, keep coming back to this one. And there it is. Go back to this one. I'm going to press X. I'm going to add some of that back. There it is. Press X again. Take some of that off. Get rid of some of that white. I'm going to go back to this one. Take some of that border away. Now this bottom one, I can see that line there. So I'm going to get rid of some of that. Ooh, undo, undo, step backwards. I don't make the same mistake I did. Select the mask. Don't take too much off, though. Let me go back to this one.
shrink that a little bit. And go back to this one. Take some of that out. There we go. Now we got a pretty nice looking montage of Predator. Now, according to the instructions to finish this one off, you must add a title text with a Photoshop effect. Now, to make it look extra nice, I went to defont.com under Eroded and found a font called Scorched Earth. I've already installed it and downloaded it. And I'm going to get the text tool. And there's Scorched Earth. and get me a decent size there capital now that was too big predator now I don't like that color so I'm going to match that orange Now I need to bring this text up front, so I'm going to drag that layer to the top. Leave a little bit of margin space. It's bad design to put your letters right up against the edge. Now it needs to pop a little more, so I'm going to add a layer style, perhaps a stroke, just a light one with a little black around the outside. So it pops just one or two. And let's see what it looks like with a drop shadow. Maybe add like a uh, red. Increase the spread. Distant. Click OK. There we go. We got Predator. Um, one last thing. I'm going to here Command T. Shrink it up. I want such a good image. I don't want to miss out on so much. Hit Return. Then go back to the mask. Get the brush. There you go. That is it. And then when you save, file, save as, go to your documents for six weeks, and we will call this, let's pretend we're in our first period class, 1A, 1A underscore, your last name, here I'll take off caps lock, don't put mine, and then collage and then save now if you want to export this as a JPEG file save for web save go under recent put it in your first six weeks save and then drag it in the Dropbox when you're done so you'll go to your documents for six weeks and drag it into the Dropbox, the dim Dropbox and release your mouse okay and that is it for the collage assignment